ladies and gentlemen. Uh, may I kindly request our guest of honor to come on the dais, Purubin uh, Dailawa, Honorable Parliamentary Secretary. Then uh, Professor Zokai Kwami. Social Sciences. He is a keynote speaker. Then Professor Devinderan, head of department, social work, one of the resource person. Then Dr. Mahanti, so he has not yet arrived. Dr. Alke Mohanty, Head of Department, Sociology. Then Professor Lalrin Trana. Please do come on the dais. from our seat, all of us. program. We are supposed to start at 12.30, but uh, due to the technical problem uh, there in the computer, so we could not just have started I mean, on exact time. Now it is uh, 12.35 by my watch. Uh, our program, I think we all are holding on our hand, so we do permission of our Honorable Chief Guest, Professor Al Galtan Tuanga, and our <coughs> Guest of Honor, Pu Ming Dailava, Honorable Parliamentary Secretary, Sports and Youth Affairs, Government of Mizoram. Uh, let me uh, announce uh, how the program is to be carried out today. Uh, Professor Zokai Tuangi, I try to reach out. I send a copy of this and then uh, phone was not picked up. Maybe she is busy uh, with other uh, important university uh, program because today is uh, Swaraj Bharat NSS program that is to be carried out as per the direction. Uh, so simultaneously, these two programs are to be carried out today. Today is a International Youth Day celebration. So they are actually coinciding I mean, to each other. So that may also hamper slightly even the attendance of the student. So with kind permission of our honorable uh, <coughs> chief guest and guest of honor, uh, I would like to uh, mention uh, this thing. Uh, uh, it has been uh, prepared, this program has been prepared within a very short period of time. So, 
anyway, uh, keeping in view of that, I mean, uh, I may actually uh, take my turn. As per the program, sir, uh, welcome address is to be given by the um, Dean School of Social Sciences, Prof Professor Zokai Tuangi, and then I could not reach her on phone. So uh, when she comes, if she comes, then uh, she will give a welcome speech. Uh, because firstly, uh, we have actually mentioned for possession even refreshment may be taken beforehand, maybe because of that, and then a slight, I mean, uh, misunderstanding may be there. Okay. So it was finally, I uh, mean, rearranged, I mean, yesterday. Then that one was given to her this morning only. So maybe because of that, uh, she has not yet uh, here in the call. So anyway, uh, the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Alan Tantuanga, Mizoram University, um, then Ubin Dailova, MLA, Honorable Parliamentary Secretary, Government of Mizoram, in charge of uh, sports and youth affairs. The keynote speaker, Professor S. Pati, former Dean School of Social Sciences, Professor C. Devindiran, Head Department of Social Work, Mizoram University, Dr. R. K. Mohanty, Head Department of Sociology, Mizoram University, Professor Lorraine Tuanga, one of the senior most professors in Public Administration Department. My senior very, very senior uh, colleagues in the university, Professor Lianzela, Professor Joyti Kumar, then my colleagues in the Department of Public Administration, dear students and research scholars, ladies and gentlemen, it is my proud privilege to be in front of you this august function. So at the outset, I would like to extend my party's welcome on behalf of the organizing team in the Department of Public Administration and in the Women's Study Center, Mizoram University, extend heartiest greetings to everyone on this very occasion, that is International Youth Day celebration. So I would like to share a few things on the background of the today's function. It was on 28-7-2016, a phone call came that has been followed by an email from Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development, Sri Kurumbudu, Chennai, so <clears throat> for this today's function. So the Department of Public Administration would start the new session on 1st of August. Then on the very first day, we discussed about today's function. So it was in principle accurate, but uh, we have to get some more clarification from the Rajiv Gandhi National Institute. And then after we got all the information, then we need approval of the Vice Chancellor uh, to go ahead. So our Vice Chancellor was on official tours and finally he was available in his office on last Monday, I mean this two, three days ago. I met him and then he had allowed us I mean, to go ahead. So uh, from Monday onwards then we started preparing this function. So <clears throat> within a very short notice, we could get I mean, such approval from our Honorable Vice Chancellor. So there was long four days for speedy preparation of this very event. But due to full cooperation and support from the senior colleagues and from the junior colleagues in the Department of Public Administration, and today's function is possible. So this event is combined with actually essay competition uh, among the students of Mizoram University and poster preparation competition 
uh, among the students of uh, Mizoram University for which prizes have been prepared and this prize will be distributed by our chief guest in today's function. So I would like to take undue advantage to express my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor Alal Tantuanga for having agreed to grace the occasion as chief guest in spite of a heavy schedule he has in his dignified office. You know, sir, uh, uh, for our uh, guest of honor, we have more than 30 departments uh, running classes, and every department are actually having their own having their own programs. So in that we, every one of us are expecting, I mean, to I mean, uh, invite our Honorable uh, Vice Chancellor to be a chief guest. So that's why, moreover, uh, he has so many works to be done in his dignified office. In spite of that, he could I mean, spare his valuable time uh, with us today. So <clears throat> I would like to actually uh, say that the Department of Public Administration and we must this Center is very, very lucky to have him as he has always given academic guidance and encouragement whenever we are in need. So I say thank you to you, sir, this morning. Then I also extend my heartfelt thanks and grat gratefulness to Pu Ming Dailova Kyangte, MLA. So we do not remember that he is an IPS retired person. So he has such a good experience and this morning we are exchanging some few things and he is also a retired army uh, service also that we didn't know. So it's really good to know that he is the right man to become uh, actually a leader in this sports and youth affair. So <clears throat> he is now in charge of sports and youth affair, government of Mizoram. Uh, we are very happy and very grateful for having agreed to grace today's function as guest of honor where he has neck deep works to perform in his public office. So thank you, sir, for sparing your valuable time with us today. So in a short notice, our resource person could also make themselves available to render their expertise to the delegates, I mean, today. For that, I also say thank, or a big thanks, rather, to Professor Srini Bas Pati, former Dean School of Social Sciences, and senior most uh, professor in the Department of Public Administration. Then Professor C. Devinderan, Professor and head, Department of Social Work, and one of the most, I mean, uh, senior most uh, professor in the Department of Social Work. Then Dr. R.K. Mahanti, who is uh, head, Department of so Sociology, so for giving their, actually, valuable time so that we learn from them. They have got their own expertise also. So the United Nations International Youth Day is celebrated on August 12th each year since 2000, mostly to recognize the efforts of the world's youth in enhancing global society. This actually uh, very important date is also aimed to promote wise to engage them in becoming more actively involved in making positive contributions to their communities. On this background, I would like to express my profound desire that because since we have one of the political executive in our midst, especially for uh, Min Dailova and MLM, and then having a very important portfolio. So the government of Mizoram has not yet introduced the 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment to be implemented for the whole state of Mizoram. So why I have mentioned 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment is providing the youth political empowerment. You know, so because to administer the rural affairs, there is Panchayati Raj I mean, system that has been actually enacted, that has been amended in 1992. Through this, I mean, Panchayati Raj institutions, many youth in other states of the Indian Union are becoming are leader, political leaders in India. It is a good training ground even for the youth also. If this can also be taken into consideration 
and today's function would be really very very fruitful. So if this can be actually expressed in one of the gathering uh, of the cabinet ministers or important ministers when uh, meeting is convened also, if this can be brought uh, to the information, I mean to the I mean, knowledge of the, um, I think, the leader of the party also. Then besides that, uh, municipalities it has been introduced in the state of Mizoram, but that too also only for the city of Aizol. So how many youths can be empowered politically through this? We know we have been teaching the student of public administration, the student of Mizoram University also. So if then this can also be implemented throughout the state of Mizoram where it is possible, where it is permitted. So we know that Mizoram, some part is covered by the sixth schedule to the constitution of India. But there are some areas which is not covered by the sixth schedule to the constitution of India. In this, the youth of Mizoram are also very much actually required. So if they can have a good training ground, they can be our political leaders and they are the future of tomorrow, I mean the future of the state. So they are the future of ours also. This has to be, I think, taken into consideration. So I take this undue opportunity um, of uh, Pu Ming Dai Lewa, uh, I mean, presenting in our midst. So <clears throat> the United Nations uh, actually defines the world youth as the age group between 15 to 24 years old, making up one sixth of the human population. And what would be the scenario of Mizoram? We may be able to uh, hear from our resource person. Of these young men and women living in developing countries, and their numbers are also expected to rise, to rise deeply. So we really have to take care. Anyway, we are going to hear more from, especially Pumin Dailova also, how far the government of Mizoram is uh, promoting the youth development or their empowerment also. So that part is going to be very, very important for all of us also, and especially for me also, so that some action can be taken into consideration academically also. So with this, I think I should conclude my uh, chairman's remark. Uh, so we may proceed further uh, uh, as per our actually program. I think I commit a mistake uh, I mean, for the Dean, School of Social Sciences, Professor Zokai Tuani. So yesterday I had uh, given you uh, that uh, it was to be started uh, with the photo session and something like that and revise it again. That one we have sent it only this morning, maybe that is the reason. Uh, sorry for that and then kindly bear with me. So <clears throat> let me invite Professor Zongkai Tuangi, Dean School of Social Sciences, to propose a uh, welcome address to us. Madam, please. Thank you, uh, Chairperson, Professor. Oh, it's a great pleasure for me to stand before you. I am a bit late as well, you know. In my schools, uh, we already had some kind of, uh, you know, uh, meeting. And not only of the meeting, some of them are having fresh social and some of them are having social barat uh, program is also going on. That's why, you know, a lot of our uh, programs are going on. I'm so sorry for that, anyway. So, Honorable Chief Minister, Chief Guest, of uh, Professor Ala Tantruanga, and Chief Guest, Pubing Dialogue of Kyangte, Honorable uh, Parliamentary Secretary, Sports and Youth Affairs, Government of Mizoram, distinguished delegates, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a pleasure for me to stand before you and to extend uh, a very welcome to you all. On behalf of the organizing committee, uh, this uh, one day international seminar on the road to. to, to 2030, Eradication, Poverty, and Achieving Sustainable Production and Consumption. This is uh, jointly organized by the Public Administration Department, Mizoram University, and uh, Rajiv Kandi, uh, National Institute of Youth Development. It's really, you know, it's really difficult to organize this kind of uh, seminar. I'm really happy uh, they could uh, complete and put, organize this kind of uh, seminar. I'm really happy to them also. And, you know, it is an opportune time to express our feelings, our vision. And this class 
problems of mutual interest it delegates uh, from different areas of that academic interest. And it is, you know, gratifying to note the agenda of this auspicious seminar. You know, it covers a wide uh, range of a very interesting item relating to the long vision up to 2030. You know, this is 14 years to come. We have to have a vision about that and all. During that period, that 14, within that 14 periods, we are we have to make a plan to eradicate that uh, poverty, and not only of the, the poverty. You know, uh, that we are trying to achieve sustainable production and consumption. Uh, according to that Indian uh, records, that eradication of poverty is such an, in an interesting theme for which we all are striving for. Uh, poverty in India is widespread and variety of methods have been proposed to measure it. The official measure of the Indian government before 2005 was based on the food security and it was defined from the per capita expenditure for a person to consume enough calories and be able to pay for associate essential to survive. In 2012, the Indian government stated that 21% of the population uh, is below uh, official poverty <coughs> line. In India, poverty rate uh, for periods 2011 to 12 uh, stood at 12.4 percent of the population. That is about that. Uh, to, uh, 172 million people know that in India, uh, you know, 2024 uh, thousands, 2024 thousands are below that uh, poverty line. And according to that uh, WHO, mm, 172 millions are below that poverty lines. So in that Mizoram, according to that, uh, that records, out of that, every of that uh, 10,227 are below the poverty lines. So it is very high, you know, high percentage in our population. It means that, you know, everywhere that poverty lines people are with us. Wherever we go, they are with us, you know. And because of that, it becomes very, you know, very uh, relevant topics. So that's uh, the organizing committee choosing that relevant topics. I'm really happy to know about it, that, you know. Not only of that, achieving sustainable production and consumption, this is another attractive topic. Sustainable production and consumption can be defined as production and use of products and services in a manner that is officially beneficial, economically uh, viable, and environmentally benign over the whole life cycle. Sustainable consumption uh, and production is about promoting resources and energy efficiency, sustainable infrastructure, providing access to basic services, green and decent jobs, and better quality of life for all. Its implementation help to achieve overall development plans, reduce future economic, environmental, and social costs, and strengthen economic competitiveness, and reducing poverty. So uh, it also requires a systematic approach and co cooperation among actors operating in the supply chains, from producers to financial consumer. It involves engaging consumers through awareness raising and education on sustainable consumption and lifestyles, providing consumer with inadequate formation with adequate information through standards and levels and engaging in sustainable public uh, procurement, among others. We are aware of the tremendous efforts made and the large investment in fund and scientific efforts by governments and also through a number of funders. We wish them, uh, from the organizer, we wish you uh, every success in their endeavor to eradicate poverty, sustainable consumption and production. We are also to access to hear our distinguished colleagues' reports on their recent research development in the field of poverty and reduction and sustainable production and consumption. So uh, as we all know that after we after this, within this uh, international seminar, uh, many uh, research, resource, resource persons going to share us their research, their findings, whatever you know, they, uh, they've taught. It's going to be the best way of uh, uh, eradicating the poverty 
and they are going to uh, say with us the strategies, how we are going to eradicate that poverty, and not only of that, how we'll be able to get it that the sustainable production and then consumption also. It's going to be very uh, good help for all of us because being the academicians, you know, everywhere we go, we can put, uh, we can carry on that, and then we can help anyone who's uh, are under the uh, poverty line. Not only of that, anyone who can help them in supporting financially or emotionally or some other kind of uh, means. It is going to be, you know, uh, very helpful for the future to come. That future to come 2013. So we welcome you all. So we wish you uh, a pleasant stay with us and beneficial uh, and to carry back a lot of uh, information, knowledges to eradicate the poverty and not only of that eradication of the poverty, the strategies how we are going to carry out, how the strategies how we are going to eradicate that poverty and how we are how we will be able to get that sustainable um, production and that consumption. This is maybe a very new topic for some of them. But you know, through this international seminar we're going to get a lot of so I wish you all the best and uh, thank you so so much. Professor Zokai Tuani for giving us I mean, such a warm welcome to us, uh, address to us. So uh, we would like to uh, request our uh, uh, Honorable Chief Guest, uh, Professor Alal Tantuana, uh, I mean, to be given uh, a bouquet as a kind of uh, welcome. So Tampui, can you send uh, a bouquet? to our Honorable Vice-Chancellor. And then, a bouquet for Bhu Bindai Lavakyante, Honorable Parliamentary Secretary. So. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, anyway, we would like to hear, I mean, their speech, but we are putting their name in the last so that we all are going to gain more than we have such a technical program uh, now that is to be started by a presentation of team. This team presentation will be given by Professor Srinivas Pathi, as I had already mentioned, uh, former Dean School of Social Sciences and Senior Most Professor in the Department of Public Administration. So may I invite you to present your uh, team that has been prepared by you. Thank you, so. Very good afternoon to all of you. Esteemed Chairperson, Dr. Lalni Jobri, Head Public Administration, Honorary Director, Women's Studies Center, Mizoram University. Chief Guest, Professor Arlan Thangkwanga, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Mizoram University, Pu Mingde Lubakhyante, Honorable Parliamentary Secretary, Youth Affairs and Sports, and another UD and PA, which is very important for us, Urban Development and Poverty Alleviation. It is in the theme of our presentation. Professor Jokai Thangkwanga, Dean, School of Social Sciences, Professor C. Devendran, Head Social Work, Dr. R. K. Mohanty, Professor Talim Tulanga, my colleague, esteemed colleagues in the university, invite each, teacher scholars, students, dear friends. It's a privilege on my part to stand before you today to speak a few words on the theme of this year's international Youth Day, which is being celebrated for the last 16 years on 12th August every year. Interestingly, in this university, this is the second function. Because last year, this day, we started Department of Sociology 
with the seminar and the first class in Mizoram University. So this is the second function that was within a department and today we celebrate in the entire university. And for two days program, we have been supported financially and also in terms of resources by Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development, Sri Parambudur, Tamil Nadu. Friends, the moment we talk about present day theme, there is one year in the theme, the road to 2030, eradicating poverty and achieving sustainable production and consumption. So the question comes automatically, why 2030, 2030? It has a bit small background. In 1990, United Nations General Assembly decided that we will have Millennium Development Goals, eight goals originally, plus one added by Bhutan, happiness, nine goals to be achieved by the year 2015. 2015 came, but the whole world could not achieve MDGs, Millennium Development Goals, in totality. So last year, UN General Assembly met again and revised those Millennium Development Goals into Sustainable Development Goals. So now the question comes, what are the differences? We call it millennium, we call it sustainable. There are a few differences. Instead of nine goals, now sustainable goals are 17. 169 targets, 304 indicators. This is difference number one. Number two, the millennium goals aimed at only the developing countries and the less developed countries. But SDGs aim at the whole world, the entire globe, all the nation states, member states of United Nations. And finally, they want to build upon the fruits, achievements, gaps, failures, challenges of Millennium Development Goals. So these are the issues why in today's theme there is one word 2030. They decide that by 2030 the whole world should be able to achieve these sustainable development goals. Friends, while introducing this theme, the Director General of UNESCO, Miss Irene, has given a short speech she has told, our globe has never been so small, so beautiful and so young because today we have 1.8 billion young people. As PJB just pointed out that they call it 15 years to 24. Our target audience, our dear student friends. Plus they say, don't worry, like in YMA, your membership can be any age group. She also told, don't worry, inside the nation states, you can have any definition of young people. I can prove you, the people sitting here are younger to most of you. You can say, why? How? Because philosophers say, youthfulness lies in the brain and heart, not in age or physical appearance. So those sitting here, they can be younger to most of our students. So it is told that young people should be the change agents. I am reminded of Mahatma Gandhi. Two of his statements. One statement is very popular. Second one, not that popular. The popular statement first. Gandhiji told, be the change you want to happen. You be the change. So, who can change? Only the young people in mind, heart, spirit, they can change or they can bring change. Second one, Gandhiji also told, imagine the difference between what we do and 
what we are capable of doing then most of the problems of the world can be solved because we do not utilize our potentials to the maximum the day we utilize we can do wonders some people write in their t-shirt sky is the limit i feel it's a wrong statement sky is not the limit you can go beyond you can think beyond the sky that imagination the capacity to imagine is given to us by god let's utilize that friends when i talk about those goals what we can do in the goals it talks about a free society talks about education talks about political empowerment talks about environmental sustainability talks about production and consumption level for today and for the future somebody asked what is sustainability there are so many definitions but the simplest and the smallest is think of today and tomorrow together think of today and tomorrow together that is sustainability what we get today in life has been given to us by our forefathers it is not our right to utilize everything let's think of the future generation generations to come after us so that we can try to live a better world that we have inherited friends there are 17 these sustainable goals and out of that there are some priorities good health and well being quality education gender equality clean water and air sanitation affordable and clean energy decent work opportunities infrastructure innovation and industry and finally cities and villages better than which exist today so if you look at all these goals who can do it you people young people can be the change they can be the change agents and they themselves can be the torch bearers of the future so international youth day provides us with that opportunity to sit back and think over the situation today what we have got what we need to get and what we can do to make life of ourselves and the society better friends united nations has published so many documents if you can search in google search or any search engine you can get world youth report i request my young friends to go into some of the world youth reports these are like very very significant documents world over what is happening in the field of development vis-a-vis the role of the young people so there you can get what is being done and what we can do friends uh, here comes the question why do people ask the young people to do everything there is one small definition young people they can connect with others much better sitting in this hall some of you listening to the speech also have your mobile phone in hand you are chatting with some other friends sending and receiving messages clicking photos sharing document in this moment itself it's not bad the point is united nations say this is the way young people can connect with others so easily second thing they have that energy and synergy with them to have one aggregate energy resource which can be utilized for constructive and positive purposes hold on the last thing young people they are the bridge between the kids and the older people the senior people so you are the bridge 
in you there is little bit of young child and prospect of another senior sejeant person so young people you are in the middle you are the bridge so everybody addresses you like in the family environment when there is a boy or a girl everybody is depend upon that person oh do this do that why because in the family members feel that the young person has the energy the attitude the orientation the skill to perform things in a better manner so friends i think we have to think about today's necessities the requirements of tomorrow and development which is the watch word here has to come by means of concerted efforts of all concerned the government the civil society teachers students mass media and all concerned all the stakeholders so that we can live a better future we can live a better world for the posterity so i wish that my colleagues other issues persons will talk about other issues and for the time being let's imagine that today we are in a world which is good we see we live to have a better world thank you Thank you, sir, for giving a very befitting uh, keynote address of today's team. Thank you, sir. Uh, we will proceed further. I shouldn't take long anymore, so that we all are in well time. So he has given 15 minutes, and he could do within 15 minutes. And other two resource person, if they can do within 13 minutes, and if it is not possible, I mean up to 15 minutes maybe. If So may I now invite Dr. C. Devinderan, head and professor, Department of uh, Social Work, Mizoram University, to give his, I mean, uh, paper to us. Thank you. Good afternoon to all of you. I'm very much happy to be one of the resource persons in this occasion because the reason is that I have done my doctoral work on the title "Leisure and Recreation Patterns of Mizo Youth," and also I'm working in the youth development in Mizoram. that's why i got the opportunity to talk in this occasion what we are celebrating right now the international youth day and i would like to thank the organizing team at this moment because for giving this wonderful opportunity to address this gathering and also especially the rajiv gandhi institute of youth development which i kind enough to celebrate in this remote corner of this mizoram now i am going to the topic which given to me youth and development perspectives in mizoram the youth is an important section of our country and also a significant stage of human life there are so many important aspects are present in this significant and human life they are the important group which has enormous potentialities resources and talents since i am here from 2004 i have seen for the last 13 years how the young people are vibrant in their work some of the things i would like to mention here that is which is that is very much inherent in them number one is painting reading singing dancing and also skills like carpentry repairing automobiles and also they have enormous creativity such present 
India is recognized as one of the youngest nations of the world with over 50% of the population under the age of 30 years by 2020, which is very much nearing, only three years are there. India is said to be become the world's youngest country with 64% of its population in the working age group. In India, the adolescent population is 253 million and the youth population is 231 million, which constitute 20.9% and 19.2% of the total population, respectively, both adolescents and the youth population, which means 40% of the total population of India, India comprises of youth population. The total population in the Northeast I would like to highlight here because from this total population, 4% of the total population of our country, which is about 20,000, uh, 20 lakh, 22,527 youth in the age group of 15 to 35 years. The youth unemployment, this is very, very important aspect which is to be discussed in this paper, for the age group of 15 to 35 years, in the region stood 14.4% and 9.5% for urban and rural areas respectively in the northeast region of our country. This represents relatively the higher proportion compared to all India level at 6.5% and 3.86% respectively for urban and rural areas of this region. Now, let's move on to the 2001 census, what it talks about. The total population of Mizoram in the context out of which 5,61,977 people are living in the urban areas with 51.5% of the total population of the state. The total youth population in Mizoram is the age group of 15 to 29 years, which is referring the National Youth Policy 2014, and from which 3,224,397, which is con constituting 23.7% of the mean age, of which urban youth constitutes 54 percent and 45 percent of rural youth. So in this recent studies I was referring what sort of challenges these young people are facing in our country. The recent studies shows that study shows that so that the enormous youth potential forces facing challenges we right now the professor the speaker professor Sini Baspati highlighted that the potential, we have, this particular potential is very variation. Where this potential force goes, we have to identify. So what sort of challenges they are facing in this region? From the studies, it come to know that the impact of mass media factors along with peer pressure, which leads youth to indulge in risk-taking behaviors like smoking, consumption of alcohol, tobacco chewing, and indulgence of substance abuses in the Northeast. The consumption of tobacco and alcohol consumption is very much prevalent among the youth of Northeast. Moreover, in general, the Northeastern states of, states of India, drug abuse among youth have become a major problem and also a threatening the social fabric and the structure of the society because of this golden triangle. This is also when the keynote speaker highlighted that the fabric of the society, which is very important, that the fabric, the society in terms of family, the basic institution is disturbed means problem will be there. So in this context, I would like to move on. In the year 2014, the government of India formulated a national youth policy covering the 11 priorities areas, education, employment and skill development, entrepreneurship, health and health, healthy lifestyle. The chairperson was uh, uh, the 
uh, the keynote speaker highlighted that that is healthy lifestyle, happiness, that is very essential. The sports and pro promotion of social values, community engagement, participation in polit politics and governance, youth engagement, inclusion and social justice, which is highlighted. These are all the main priority areas of national youth policy, keeping in view of the Millennium Development Goals. I would like to highlight some of the skills development areas of Northeast region. I don't want to go all those things, but just I would like to highlight the areas where youth potential for has to be utilized properly. Number one, there are 19 sectors are there, especially in Mizoram. I don't know how many of them really aware of this. I thank again for this function to do today that you, you may come to know that these are all the sectors which where youth can utilize their potential force. So in that way, textile and clothing, handlooms section, hospital and healthcare, agro-based and horticulture-based industries, building and construction industry, auto and auto components, food processing industries, banking, family ser financial services and institution insurance, germ germs and jewelry, IT, information and technology, and ITES, information technology, engineering service, and furniture and furnishing, electronics and IT hardware, exports and import activities, tour and travel service, aviation industries, bamboo-based industries, repairing works, advertising and media management skills, aromatic and medicinal plants skills. In our, depart in our university also, horticulture department is there, how this, in this, these organizations can collaborate with these institutions and they can use the, their uh, potential force. And fisheries and aquaculture. So this source has been taken from the Sister States of Northeast and Action Plan Report, which is in the website. And now I would like to give some important content of Mizoram with regard to the skills development. Because the unemployment problem, why it arises, because many, many of the young people are not able to take their, use their skills, able to come forward to take initiative. That is very, very important. Not at all paying initiative for certain things, small, small things. That's every small things matters. And this way, the Mizoram skill development programs under various uh, departments of government of Mizoram, especially there is uh, skill development authorities in Mizoram are as follows. I know that uh, MLA of our uh, states is well aware of this. Mizoram State Council for Technical Education and uh, Mizoram State Council for Vocational Training, State Council for Educational Research and Training, Mizoram Board of School Education, Mizoram Nursing Council, other departments and private establishments. I would like to present again in these departments, which are the important agencies or departments really doing, giving training to impart training for the skills development. That is LE and IT department, labor, employment and IT, uh, information technology department, number one, and rural development department, Miz uh, Mizoram Skill Development Society, Mizoram Co Youth Commission. So based on this, these agencies are giving a lot of trainings with regard to the schemes based on L L LE and IT. So I don't want to go further if uh, I'm going to give, uh, make this paper uh, to publish uh, uh, under the Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Youth Development, they have a, one journal called Endeavor. In that, I would like to present. That is the idea came in me. It, we have to do some initiative, at least what I can do here. And recently, I have done some case studies with the department agencies which are giving service for this Mizoram youth, especially in the skill development in ISOL with, with the, with the LE and IT department, and also DIC, DIC, District Industrial Center, Rural Development Department of Mizoram Youth Commission. From these case studies, I found that some of the challenges what this LE and IT department is facing. Today, I'm going to tell that there are 28 trades are there in this LE and IT department. In this, at present, only 20, 22 trades are operating. And the DIC, with regard to the DIC, ISOL is offering trades such as uh, automobile mechanics, wireman, carpentry, turner, blacksmith and tinsmith, 
These are all the traits which this uh, district industrial center is offering. And also, Ministry of Labor and Employment Government of India, Mizoram Youth Commission, conduct, conduct skill development training for youth other skill development initiative scheme. The following are some of the traits I would like to highlight here. Number one is beauty, hair and spa therapy, makeup, beauty therapy, aviation, hospitality management, retail management, ICT, and BPO, business processing, outsourcing, and tourism, commerce and accountancy, banking, finance, plastic processing, aviation, soft skills, and hospitality, hospitality and food production. So based on these challenges, the government of India keeping in view of all the national youth policy and they have this government of India framed a lot of programs and policies in order to employ the young people. So in recent years, employment generation programs have been emerged as an important employment policy. Particularly in development countries like India, there are so many Prime Minister's Employment Guarantee Program and uh, Prime Minister Rojagar Rojana and Rural Employment Generation Program, which were in operation till 31st March 2008. I don't want to give explanation all these things, just we'll go to the conclusion part. Based on these issues in the context of Northeast India, and in order to overcome the unemployment problem, only one thing is, especially among the educated and employed youth, some of the educated and unemployed youth are underemployed. So in this context, I would like to, the young people, those who are here present in this auditorium, I request everybody should take initiative. What are the talents, you inherent talents, which you are having in this, in this uh, state? Let us come expose your talents. Youth are energy. They are dynamic. So in that way, at present now, uh, when the keynote speaker was talking about the YMA, the definition for youth, here, when he was talking, by the time he used the, the saying, he quoted uh, some saying, it is usually for ambition, usually they have. Number one is, he said, the sky is your limit. No, you should think, sky is not your limit. Beyond that, you have to go. In that way, I would like to here highlight that the youth organizations like YMCA, YWCA, and YMA the Young Mizo Association, which is the largest body in India, and also it is registered in the Society's Registration Act 1860. So in that way, you have a potential, where this potential awakenings, potential body, mind, spirit, where it goes, think it over, my dear young students. And also, I would like to tell very important aspect, Neri Yuva Kendra and Vishwava Kendra may be involved in these activities Local with the local branches can be coordinated with this various departments. They can do uh, promoting the skills development and also for sustainable development. And but last but not the least, that is a combined inclusive and holistic effort is required to address the above mentioned what I discussed right now, the issues, the challenges in a principled manner, some steps to be taken in the policy, national youth policy, separate uh, for uh, Mizoram state to be developed. Because the context of Mizoram is entirely different. We have to identify what are the needs based on that separate policy has to be come. And now the conclusion part. Number one is, since I know that I belong to the youth, I have a passion for working with young people. Since Believe it or not, from the year, year, year 24 onwards, I am involving in this young people activities. Right from my MSW, I finished. And here, in this great youth development, some of the youth development workers who really inspired me, I would like to ask all the people, all the students who are here, should read the life history of these people whom I am going to mention here. Number one is, that is, Based on this theme, how you can do your own analysis. The, the road to 2030, eradicating poverty and achieving sustainable consumption and production. So came, it came in my mind that three great personalities, the inspired personality, number one is Saint John Bosco. 
He is called the youth of father of youth. He, he said one particular word which is always lingering in my heart. Number one is, it is enough that you are young. The, this particular, I am always young. According to the mind spirit, it is depending on the mind only. Number two, number two, here another important great personality of our country, Swami Vivekananda. He said one important quote, very, very much famous. Even if you go to the website, you can see this. Arise, awake, and stop not till the goal is reached. Arise, awake, and stop not till the goal is reached. And the last important person I would like to highlight here, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Because he was really a great personality. When you make, I was really doing, I want to do work in this regard. The commonalities of these three people. One is Abdul Kalam, really a great person who worked for the youth. That is one important, you know that the, he used always inspiring the young people. Right now, the keynote speaker said, students are the very important people connecting very soon. In that way, after when he was last breath in the Shillong, the news has gone to other parts through students only, I come to know. So in that way, the one important, when he used his quotes, number one is, so many quotes are there, inspirational quotes. I was really admired this, inspired me. Dreams are not what you see in sleep. They are the things that do not let you sleep. Well, I'll repeat once again. Dreams are not what you see in sleep. They are the things that do not let you sleep. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Recent, this contemporary and of our own country, read, inspire yourself. In this particular moment, I would like to do you, you all the young people, to do your introspection and analyze yourself in what way you are contributing to this Mizoram state. Now, I would like to thank for the organizing team and also the Raju Gandhi Institute of Youth Development for giving this opportunity to speak with you. Thank you. a wonderful presentation but you know teachers when they speak we speak then we don't know when to stop this is uh, experienced by us you know unless and until we complete we don't want to stop that is it anyway our next speaker is uh, Dr. R.K. Mahanti head department of sociology Mizoram University sir let me please take your turn A revered chairperson, Professor Jovi, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Sir, Honorable Parliamentary Secretary, Sports and Youth Affairs, respected Dean School of Social Sciences, respected ex-dean school of social sciences professor lalvin twanga senior professor at the department of public administration professors and colleagues of the dais and my dear students, friends for whom this occasion or meeting has been organized and my dear support staff around. I also do join the house in extending my hearty greetings to all the youth present here, however thin it may be. Nay, the youth of the world as a whole on this auspicious international 
you today. This occasion, in fact, gives us the opportunity to look back to what we have done in MDG and what we look forward to in SDG as our ex dean sir already highlighted so beautifully. Yes, we also need to see today as to what are the things that have not been done for you, we need to deliver it so that it should be done. I am not very good at the things when I don't feel good when largely the challenges of youth are put forth before the youth themselves. Rather, the challenges faced by youth are not the challenges for them, they are the challenges for us. Probably there is something wrong in us which we have not done for which the challenges are there. And the major challenge is we always, as adults, put our sword over their head. And therefore, their volatility, or for that matter, vulnerability to the risk of adoption of maladaptive behavior tend to increase. I have been given a theme to talk on to general rather that youth in social harmony and the speciality to which I belong might have been there in the mind of the organizers, organizers to give me this. So, therefore, I want to put the things to perspective. The challenges faced by youth not only demand actionable solutions, but also need a meaningful explanation. Madam Professor Joby in her address said about the age set of youth and all that is notorious about youth or all that is problematic about youth is to define them in terms of their age categories about which there is no unanimity of opinion. UN, for which we are here, International Youth Day. UN entities like UN Habitat and especially the Convention of the Rights of the Child 1979 do have their differences of opinion as to who to constitute the youth. United Nations says or fixes the age category to be somewhere between 15 to 25 as belonging to youth. Parallelly, UN Habitat as an agency under aid goes on to argue and fix the day saying that youth are those who <coughs> belong to the people from 15 to 35 years of age. In Uganda, they take the age category of youth to be between 12 to 30. So how to look at the concept of youth? We need to understand these concepts. Otherwise, we may be somewhere 
Ms. Billing to think about their development or their role in bringing harmony or for that matter development, prosperity and whatever we are trying to expect the type of role that youth have to play. In India, the situation is further precarious. UN Convention of the Rights of the Child said that those who are below 18 years of age are to be included as children and as such any crime committed by them during this period of time would be taken as a child-like behavior as a result of which legal concessions shall be available to them. So, in that sense, what would be the age category between 15 to 18? Even when he describes this particular age category, even says they are not youth, they are young adults. Basically, youth is defined as a concept experiencing transition, a period between childhood on the one hand and adulthood on the other. But nobody knows as to where does the childhood end or for that matter adulthood beginning. UN also considers the children belonging to the age category from 15 to 17 as teens. So all these are to be really put to perspective and it is further peculiar and precarious when we talk about our own country. In our country, in the line with UN Convention of the Rights of the Child, we have an act called Juvenile Justice, Care and Protection of Children Act, which divides the children into two categories, juvenile in conflict with law and child in need of care and protection who must be below 18 years of age. Then there are other peculiarities and other specificities, integrities about that. I am not going into that. My point is to drive to home, how to look at the youth, how to reconstruct the concept of youth, so that we can think about their role in harmony, development, prosperity, or progress, whatever um, that we are trying to talk about. In uh, our youth policy document, which Professor Devinder and quoted, they fix the age category there to be between 15 to 29. So, and Census of India 2011 now settles the total number to be some 564 million young people in our country whose age category is 10 to 35 years. So where are they? Then marriageable age limit is fixed for boys as 18 and girls as 21. See? So on the such circum, child labor below 14, all those are beyond that are adults. So under such circumstances, it becomes extremely difficult to understand. But by saying this, I do not intend to say that since definition is not available, nothing can be done. No. There are a lot of academic discourses. We academics try to argue it out how to reach a conclusion, how to reach one working definition. Yes, in India, we have to go by the uh, policy document of 2014 accordingly as typically ideal. No forget about the Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of the Children Act. R.F. Kennedy, the brother senator 
of the ex-president went on to say that the world demands the quality of youth, not their age. Brilliant indeed. That is the working definition. So when we talk about, when we expect something from our youth for which we provide them due opportunities, then for all our practical purposes, youth for me, those who have the due capabilities, duly recognized, due opportunities provided to them, and responsibility either they take on themselves or the type of responsibility that is otherwise society gives to them. So that would be the right type of definition. Then coming to the role of youth in social harmony, if this is the concept of uh, youth, then what is their role in social harmony? What is the concept of harmony? All existences or all problems of existence are in fact the problems of harmony. Whether we are talking about Hobbesian, nasty, poor, solitary, Buddhist sort, to Rousseau's social contract, to the process of democratization, or to the greater sword today called human rights, it's all, the emphasis is all about harmony. What is that? Harmony or social harmony basically means to join or connect the disjointed parts pertaining to the society so that there is a total peaceful coexistence or integration. And more so in the context of Indian society as characterized by unity in diversity or multiculturalism, the concept holds profound relevance. Examples are enough. The role of youth in bringing social harmony can hardly be gainsaid. History is full of materials about the type of role that youth have played in this society. I'll give you a couple of examples from the international then our Indian society. Then I will uh, conclude my uh, speech as to I will be given 12 minutes. I don't know how I have gone. Um, pardon me, madam. So the international um, example is this. The best example is what we call the Tunisian movement, which is popular as the what they call Jasmine Revolution. The youth went against the tyranny of the then President Ben Ali in 2011 and opposed his tyranny, his autocracy, corruption. He was so sovereign that he decided who to leave, who to be killed. And that revolution was led by one youth of 26 years unemployed, Mahmoud Bauji, who had to commit suicide. And it is after his suicide, the movement spread so fast across the countries and among the neighbors that this president, autocratic president, had to leave the country on what you call January 2011. Similar example you find about the role of youth in improving the Sino-American relationship 
and that is what you call the ping pong diplomacy. What is that? Exchange of youth athletes and ping pong is a game of table tennis, you know. They were exchanged as a result of which, you know, their relations improved and the then president in 1971 came to visit China, Nixon. Sudanese president was also outstayed by so-called youth movement in 1985. These are the typical youth have played brilliant roles in the past. You know, let us not sideline the youth by saying they have challenges, they have problems, all these things, their problem is our problem. That is that is that is a very idea that I want to that is a very message that I want to give today. Come to Indian society fair. We have a lot of examples, you know. Our NCC, our NSS, as you said, already, you know, the uh, Boy Scouts and the guides, you know, they are uh, uh, playing a lot of role with regard to uh, on the rescue work during natural disaster calamities or for that matter, promotion of terminal harmony, Teresur, Maresur. So what I am trying uh, basically to tell you is this, and Northeast India provides probably the best of the example in so far as the role of youth in building, coming, building the social harmony. Assam could have a youth government. It is the youth movement which has given us the Mizoram state. Probably most peaceful, most tolerant compared to what we find in the states like Maharashtra and Bihar. So now let me try to conclude how do we go about it from this particular example. Let us not leave the total responsibility on youth themselves. Let us give them opportunity. Let them try and err. Let us monitor and have probably miracles can happen through youth empowerment in promotion of social harmony in this society. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Dr. R.K. Mahanti. Uh, both of them are actually uh, invited to be a resource person because uh, Professor C. Devendran has a specialization in youth, youth related issues. So he has done his even uh, PhD research also. Then after that he has a good number of publication on youth related issues also. And he has taken it as a topic even for guiding the research scholars also. So he has got a number of books and then uh, research articles also written and published. Then even Dr. Mahanti also, he has a specialization, we know, that in harmonization, something, no? So that related issue has been actually taken and that has been given to him also accordingly. So both of them have done very well and we are too grateful to you also. So uh, we will proceed further to our program our guest of honor who has a good experience in the army organization and then even as an administrator, I should say, because he has been in that organization as a senior most officer in police organization. He is a retired IPS also. Now he is a political executive. So he's a right man and he has given this portfolio as a in charge of youth and sports affairs and the government of Mizoram as a parliamentary secretary. Mr. May I invite you to give a talk to us. So you may use uh, Mizo or English in board. You can actually I mean, give a speech to us. Thank you, sir.
Professor Lene Zoe, Chairperson, <coughs> Chief Guest Professor Al Nelson Kilwanga, Honorable Vice Chancellor MGTU, Senior Professors Lian Zaila, closely known to me, rather to my family, <coughs> Professor Zok Aikwani, Professor C. Devendrand, Professor Pati, Professor <coughs> Mahanti, Professor Alvin Kluanga, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, dear students, media, all those who gather together this place. <coughs> I wish you Chibai. May I ask all those who do not understand uh, Mizo, may I raise hand? Okay. <coughs> Thank you. I feel I am <coughs> highly honored to have been invited on this occasion. However, <coughs> with your permission of the <coughs> organizing body and the students. I would like to speak in our language because with English language, I wouldn't be able to impart what I want you to know. <clears throat> and you had enough of lecture in English also So I better speak with your purpose as it with me your language. Today <clears throat> I am not a master of the uh, Mizoram Youth Commissions, their role, their work, responsibility. But uh, I was chairman of this Mizoram Youth Commission. Um, way back in 19, 2010, 11, 12, <coughs> till 13. Well, I know something. <coughs> now I switch on to <coughs> Mizoram language. <coughs> Role of Mizoram Youth Commission. Tehi soitur tamtak trong kam thiam te siar zao ten an de teng karinga trong kam hi katin Role of Mizoram Youth Commission. He say how come my Milo Tiabula slip off tongue him Ziva politic rim nam del de Milo Tiam Don there. Then Mizoram Youth Commission, the MYC Katizu Zu made a book, Lam Toin. The turn of all MYC don't come the Kadims here for her leg and eat on Amaro to Voinia can see him the untuck. Pullout and Hola Kaikoi Sokar, Congress of Kahituan. Talai de Kovel Tar Talai de Makua Dapsuaka Bozui Zel, the Lotting Zel Turin. He MYC he Mo Purdapea. Soon as one top Megany. The Kansela. Kun masa hai MYC he sport department attach in oma chu te chu chuan te to pan chua mizoram thalai te in fiam na ma mai ni lo in fiam na ti chang kang tu rin a infrastructure la ma na me lavin malak ni a kan khet mai the ta Football, po pool, and pahi, Mizorama, Pali got on to a hockey ground, po asto tav ground, but me got on to a ten football ground pay to a when near a pipeline in a mazat tolai make oma ten hockey ground to po he eyes all up and boy, we make bokeni ten. Hey, me contact sport can be home. The Amazon nine here and district dinner, MTN boxing at the 
boxing ring of Victor, Izola Yan, Taekwondo Mo, Zudo Mo Ketian and Tizong, Sunka Indoor Stadium of Five Victor. Any District Apo, Atamzo, Tuan Omtoa, was a mix, Eleni. Hitian alone, Tinis and he, Kum Sang, Nile Pakwale Sang, Ni Som, Atang Tsau Khan, Mizoroma. Games and Sport Association te hian sarkar atangin promotional fund and mu chota tang chon heng ge long thin chon ma chuan ma son ta ta kaum thei lo kan ti ti kan soi lui lui tong kam thiam thiam min ti dan tur an soi tam ani mai tu na ro chuan professional promotional fund awang in tu din mun ahen kan nam ta ni Tin Lake Zilla Man Lud Lokila Chung Kotam Takin Achu Mayin Do to Samin in the Games and Sport La Mamo Chalai de Cove Lamo Chalai de Marku Amokan MYC Sorkarin MYC Kalklangin Chalai ke tan na alat ko, lovani dothu samin. Amar o chu, chalai te drug abuse emo. Swa swa lama an kalau na to, an kalau na turin. Po pen ram rama, an tuizong le an thurzong te silfia pea umzu izel turin. Kan MYC here and take top and so make a little match one MYC that I'll go here and swung Lenny. Then two back at one, so uncle Tang Takin and two let Fatetan Zirna Sam, a uncle dear take care of them. Then when they are here, MA pass Zoto Te, BA Zoto Te, technical graduate in Mazate, so Kara na and Bulo. Tin sorkar na lahi atlem tual tual boka. Kiam na sang zog ni lautan te page one sorkar na muhi tu vanara ang adi te hiyal ome. Chua vang tak chuan sorkar ing ngay tu na char aneya. MYC hi sport a umto lovin. Labor and employment. Then, he did not have to do him. 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 Chung zong zong, an lo ti to te kan soi sing la vanga. A chen za za te an ta la ni la. In example la ni chu. Skin Fest 2014. Ai jo la kan ne ma kan. Loi ngay tu a ro ok. Min pu em mo di so e te mai te. Kan cha la ai ten. Ram po an a training le na tho hi. An fe de ving. Kan buju ini, kan kolej kal velai kan tukang langi le silunga. Hei, vice leader zaman tak tene hein silunga kan zir hawa. Hei, ain kum katena graduat main kat sini. Hei, kan graduat a army kol mission lama kan kal ngal fata. Kan ini kerja ibu kluwa at koy malai lai boleh sesuatu lau tu. Bisor mara cuan kahai bu dun le ta ah, acan jin, tang puihi kerjat dan cuan le kerjiam tak ni tika kerjat dan, ane renga, alau ni renga boleh ni apa he, zir ne sang kau tu pa, alau ni renga ni, enton tak kani, silonga, skill fest 2014 ka, yang hau tu ten anjo cim tir zip ni. Jutian jutian tiri tahun dua kejuan, 
Aizola Tiveng O Antita. 2014 Bok Juan Skill Face and Bush and Eta. Heta Hian Long Mong Taku Chalai Sing Kat Zitin and Chimen. Tin Rampon Lamartan Local Vocational Training Provider. Ho Local Tener Kant of Le Chilin. Missang Tum Don Lai and in Register Kal Bogani. Setiap angkutan hotling lain kan kia, then kailat dewin kau katahian Emporium Training and Consultant Private Limited tau mah, then kau katabok hian IQST tau mah, 2014 yang bok hian MYC tene MOU siamin, misa ni som kuat training tu anzo tira, anti al hotling veka. Placement and move it. Bukan. Tika lang sila. Then donor sponsor skill development program yung boka. Donor sponsor skill development pro program. Oba. Hey, hila kalai me kaniya. Kumin yan. Me sangkale sa live. He training a kultura. Buat saya ni ya. Tujuan kalme dengan kalme ringa. Wenihan misa ni le sompatum inan launching to a place menan buvika. Zet Airways te, Delfin Royal Cruise te, Five Star Hotel Hilton Radisson Blue, ZW Marriott Park le hotel dengan tele IT company te. Na an mula mana? Then our forces recruitment. Mizoten Sipai. Lu Sipai Tran Lu Kanti. Mizoram Police Tran Kansak Thoma Sedai Tolo. Some resmen te, Navy at te, Air Force at te, Tran and Tuma. Te to pan bay pon, Wain niya tson har to ko may matik pa sa ngaya. Physical ba ka arite na ngaya. Mitte engkim cekalong aya. Cuba angkuan kan MYC hian. Hei ho harus anda kaya hian antek apa nak? Kumi na arungut hian, kemual si payah arungut payah hian. Ah me, zat sambil panga tirsuaka. Navy asam pasari, Air Force asam pakar. An mani te te an behit suan air force at yan kalmang lo ba niya. Tin su lo le suan a le katiyam le mitay ma te. Ina an behit say na ayos coaching class he kahun lai kan 2009-2010 kan course ni kan zong mana. So ta ka experience su when ni hen share ka share du sewa. Free of course in Sokari Nagana. Ati Ratsang Kapu Kapu Pondron Tichyan Chate Pond Meron Bia Kuming Kafapa Katupahi Nung Dave La Anti Rom Kan Dave Nual Ome Ati Ratsang Student Zadon Lai Kan Ne Ay Tam Te Ma Se Free of course Course Ni Wang Kan Kan Siku Kan Student Te Ain Tha Da Tla Kumto pa som or regular kalan. Amaro chit yung som or hover o chuan. At hon in class yung kalhaw lang. IAS, All India Civil Service yung anhulo. Central Service po anhulo yung lang. Amaro chit yung MCA sa atin eh. Mizorama Regular Service. Kanti ho. Dang. Eh. MIS AT then audit and accounts finance service AT kantian hongan lu tawya vani di ka lau siya ila then then pakat miso in kan hila waka hiya a oma staff selection commission coaching class vani ya MYC in 
Anna Boy said, Hilo Mugati Hopa. A bus must bear page of Zabutua. Heta Hian me, me, until a cum Katahian vacancy sing me there. So I will let him see any. So that's one combined graduate level examination. TNA Central Ministry of Department from Trang Atele. Government undertaking Ate and the Roma, Etina, LIC, FCI, AIR, Do Darsan, CBI, Taxation, Excise, Ate and Lut Roma. In two level, it's one Central Police Organization, Kanti, BSF, Assam Rifle, CRPF, ITBP, IRPF, Tele. CISF, Clona, in Caldona, Boy Puitu Ho, CISF. Hang a hand, Assistant Commandant, Gazette of Sun, Le Sub Inspector Direct Entry. Um, Tino Mizia. Mizotan Hang, Mizotan Hang, he can name when Loma say, can no more M, M, C, employment time, any. Silsara te gau hati a te Mizou tunga han dia te mai anom nual to Arsipat ni kai ho te po Adik tak suan heng na yan Vain niya Kan Mizou na ka te ho an khat klat to Kei ni ho kan om mai mai siya Na nei lo ane te mok siya So te lai tak suan in there, the color soil of Boga can so you look there. Nane low and taken. A bit again, Professor Lenzelen. And I was for tinkering up. Christian a tick. Sang he left Pokwani tank here up. Praise go run. Whitling Zirtil. Whitling Tetana Zira Zirtura Khan. Aumani. Suta. Bung som tum le pasari na ato pa kan soy hu tu nam long ai chat chi ola hei le kan ra ma hien na om lo kan ti a ma se kan ram chen om ma in an lo kala tho se lo an nei si a na om lo kan ti na ra ma hien and this young man is so hot, young at it. He is so hot, cuts up him. When he are tried to let student my head is so cuts up, my way. Two na, two MYC here, more for none than the women here. Like a young Tatani in Rajwat Nua, MA Zirmega, in my tomb long mighty. Amaro to Intum Angjuan in whom I know table. On the day on to Kati Hunlai Katuan in Zong Zonga on Puika, Myanmar, Mitchian Nation. When it's on a van to Kopa, can ram through the meeting on Puinan Tokalong, on Tranvia in Kariya. And in all the head buildings that we took in a Silzar mystery and the covering of Abdullah Tenilo Mo Tang Yen and a Sakarin Lok. Ma said, Sue Simon, what took and talk way to take toes, you got to get all of the Amara took and talk where Mins Hordu Lemlo Mizo Simon walked him in the him Mizo pilots Hordu Lemlo Galzel Zakom caught by a Mizo Christian to come on Hordu Logan. Mutia zong zong hitu teng ne thang ale moai nong ve lo. Itu pa ale kan fa pa hien ka vei lo ve tien ti ta se thei ve lo ne o. Lo ka suol tien. Adang kwan lo fa tam ve. Vo yin niya ma lai re e kheng kheng. Kan kwa mwa lung tu kheng kheng a chan ko thi vai bo kan niya. Ti tak e ma chuan. Ka kal pa a. Gas cylinder, poo, mutual, tuck, 
Employment problem. When you put on two points, you retain the own body weight at my arm. Can we so tell I then? Hang Namdangina. Can talk Tiam low. Let can talk pay low. Mean talk subclutter. Hang here and take a neck and take over don't they? Cazot to two. ยิ่งไงตัวตาจะบางกระสาบตรงเทียมแล้วใดโดนหรอวะเฮงเฮงติคนอะไรกันแตกออกว่าโดนจุ่มนี้อ่ะจวนเฮรอมาเฮนฮ
role of MYC so it were my som hi kapur khopaka cha khopa kanwa vak lo na ma ra chu fail ka ka tum lo film shima pathe ko ngana za ra asan na pokari jano ka local thia a a ai tam po so itu dorom kha ai tam ka la ma ra chu khun den dai lova for is ka som du chu chu ka som zo to chu wa when the hand role of myc hi a example on tete karan so chua ka adik tak chuan role of myc example kan en te chu nang ma ni anga le kha thiam ni lo mi lak lo college drop out high school drop out the ho an in kol an de u bero king ka khia tin wai ne hian mi tam tak hai ra ma thon tu ni tin an ko wen tu kin jing ni u sa por chu kha ol lps ka khati an kha om zel ni tin te 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 kholian kho so vela hian vocational training and pexia khia ta chuan wan thui te cement mystery work te mobile repair te khatia se khang khang kha an zir tira ka hun ve lai po khan kholi khonga chuan en kan be owa an phu thi khop mai pon se ve nia e role of myc mizor wit commission sai tura min so wan ka loma tin ka ma professor ho te po khan a kan sai om tak tak an sai a an ni kha chuan e nang ni khiat tur an sai ke ro chuan kan zir tu kan practice tu in practice tu challenging takin karo sai do ni kalome kan van ti fo char char em wo in ni chu a right man dik tak hard working person ani zia chu i experience a training kan sha army a commission in aluta ips alo ni chho le theya political executive alo ni le theita a kan ma a fit takin thu ala soi theya challenging takani a thu soi kha wo ina hian ra ngai to nei mang tharang u ti hi ka soi tu a comment pek thui a cha kom le mai ma sem chu chu a hun lowa kan lom tak me me wa u ming dai lowa giving us a wonderful time and because of you only uh, that this today's i mean function is also very successful i should say that way anyway um, this is the beginning of our joint venture and in future we will be doing i mean together again and again in such a joint manner i hope so with these few words i say thank you to you sir once again so there is a slight alteration uh, kindly from the back side i mean uh, Uh, we would uh, like to invite anyway our chief guest then after his speech only distribution of prizes will be actually taken place the reason why i have changed uh, with the permission of our guests and the special i mean resource persons and all <coughs> delegates uh, so that we can have a group photo those who are getting a prizes okay so let me invite our honorable chief guest professor r lalthan tuanga to give Uh, Chief Guest Speech, sir, please. My heartfelt greetings to all of you on this uh, International Youth Day. Sir Parson, Professor Lalda Izobi, guests of honor, resource persons and dignitaries on the dais, my colleagues, in the university dear student friends ladies and gentlemen i am happy that this uh, program is organized today by the uh, department of public administration and women study center of mizoram university in collaboration with the uh, uh, national rajiv gandhi Institute of uh, Youth Development. Sri Pen Peran Buddha. <laughs> What is the name? Sri <laughs> Pen. And in fact, this uh, institution, Institute of uh, uh, Youth Development, 
had written to our university, I think about two years ago, whether we would like to have some collaborative work with them for uh, the programs on youth development <coughs> to sign the MOU and all that. We replied that we would like to have such a uh, collaboration with their institution, and even if necessary, to sign the MOU. But after that, we did not hear anything, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So they kept quiet for the last two years or so. But they, uh, now they have written us to have this program together. So I think that is uh, their response to our response about two years ago. So I'm happy that we are able to collaborate with them in organizing this uh, function as our first collaborative work with this institution. I hope in future also we'll be able to work together for the development of the youth, which is their main uh, uh, task. This, uh, I know even the vice chancellor of this uh, uh, institution, I have met her even recently. So I think this will be only the beginning and we'll have to work together for many more projects and programs in future. And I'm very thankful to all the resource persons, particularly our guest of honor, who Mingdai Novakiante, as he said, I knew him from the college days. He used to be a very good hockey player. I do not know. <laughs> now I think he might be playing tennis outside, I don't know. So he is a good sports person. And as already mentioned, not only in army and civil service, police service, he, is also, he was also the chairman of the Youth Commission in the last uh, government of Zora, and now he is a, a parliamentarian here of uh, sports and youth services. So I think he is the right person, and his challenge is really challenging, and I hope we'll think about it and also respond positively to the challenge he has thrown before us, and our teachers uh, are also uh, giving us very important information and challenging uh, speech. So I thank all of them for their participation and for their presentation. I don't think I'll say much. We have had so much. So I'll be I'll try to be brief. This uh, International Youth Day this year, I think they have, uh, as already mentioned, it is uh, to do away with poverty and also have development of the country, of the world, and also of the youth. Um, they have mentioned this uh, in their uh, this small uh, write-up, they say uh, they say this uh, the 2030 that is the year that has already mentioned agenda are interconnected. It says aiming to integrate the three dimensions of sustainable development. So the sustainable development is one of the uh, emphasis this year that under which they have given three uh, headline, I mean the sub heads that is economic, social, and environmental. So all these three are interrelated. Economic, the importance of economic, I think everybody knows, unless a country, a family, or a person is economically sound, he cannot do much. So that even the Indian government is taking, uh, making many schemes and programs so that the country is well, economically well, and doing well. 
for which they have done many things. They say that education, they give importance, health they give importance, and also among the, in the education sector, they say that although quality education is very good, that everybody cannot be uh, the top people in education. So they know that for many students, youths, who cannot do very well in education, they say we should do skill development, which uh, our guest of NAR has uh, mentioned. And also we should train our people, our youths, not only in excellence in education, but also to have their own entrepreneurship. And the prerequisite for all these entrepreneurship is skill development and also vocational programs in education. So they have us, even every state and also universities, to propose some programs, either vocational, diploma, or degree. So in Mizoram also, two colleges, I think, government colleges will propose to start vocational programs, degrees or diploma. And Mizoram University also proposed uh, the vocational for Kapas as well as for Patsuga University. So fortunately, the university and Patsuga College were selected to run this vocational course, that is a degree BVOC course, and Patsuga University College was selected to run this diploma course in vocation. Unfortunately, the other two colleges which were proposed could not get uh, the sanction this time. I think they will get later. In Mizoram University, we have a BIVA program in the, uh, web designing and media technology, etc. Two courses. And in Patsuma College, we have uh, uh, mushroom cultivation, which is a diploma course. In the Mizoram University, is a uh, degree course, BIVA program. Well, Patsuga College could run the diploma course uh, even from last year. Our university could not get applicants to run this course. So we advertise again, I also mentioned wherever possible to apply. This year, we, the program is meant for 50 in each course, but we could get about 10 in one course and about six, seven in one course. So I think uh, although we all want to have master degree or bachelor's degree in general education, as already mentioned by our guests of honor, I think it is not very easy to get jobs, white collar jobs or government jobs. So the government, <coughs> knows this, so they want to train our youth for other vocations. I think we have to inform even the people who do not get even college admission, BA, BSc and all, these vocational programs are maybe more paying than the normal general education. I think we have to know this also. Then the government, as you know, it says uh, make it India and all, so that our people can have engagement, so they have done so many programs. Now, one of the programs we all know, Startup India, under which, which is open for all, you can apply, you can start entrepreneurship by getting loans at very comfortable uh, positions. I mean, the, the repayment modes are very good. I mean, very uh, beneficial for the favorable for the person who apply. So many people in the country have applied for this and they have started their own entrepreneurship. And 
Another scheme which they have is Stand Up India. Under Stand Up India, this is that the earlier one, Stand Up India is only for all the people. But this Stand Up India is to develop entrepreneurship among the SC and ST and women. Women is common, but for men, uh, boys, it is only for SC and ST. Under this scheme, you can apply loans from 10 lakhs to 100 lakhs. I think if we are not aware of, many of our youths, our young people are not aware of even these things. The request, the request from the government is every nationalized bank should give at least two loans under this uh, stand up in their scheme. So even if you don't have any capital, if you are enterprising enough, you can apply for this loan. Of course, the proposal has to be good. And start your own entrepreneurship. And you can become a millionaire after some time. All these things, I think, our youths are not thinking. They are thinking only to go along the already uh, easy path and just enroll yourself. And when you pass, you don't get any government job and you become frustrated. I think we have to think anew, now afresh, how we should not only be the employees, we should be the employer. That can be done only if you are starting this entrepreneurship, as he said, heavy industries may not be possible, but under small industries, whether it is in IT sector, you don't require much uh, uh, capital, you can get the loan, or even these cottage industries, I think that is very, very important. So that is what the government wants us to do as far as uh, to improve our economy. Then the next uh, is the social aspect I have already mentioned. India is not uh, a poor country as such. If you compare many countries, the India, the rich cities in India is uh, very much there, but the, 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 the riches are not distributed among the people, where some are very, very rich and some are very, very poor. So I think in the social sector, this, uh, we have to think how to, uh, the rich people have to think how to help uh, the poor people. And also, as he has mentioned, social harmony. Without social harmony, uh, there cannot be any progress or development. So this is one thing which uh, they have emphasized in this, uh, today's uh, program. And another thing is uh, this, uh, uh, what, uh, that is environment. Uh, you know what is the problem of environment these days? Some rich people, they have spoiled the environment. Uh, and if you uh, take everything, all the resources during your time, what will the, your children and your grandchildren and the next generations have? So I think where even you start your entrepreneurship or anything, I think environment concerns have to be taken into account. Otherwise, you know, nowadays, because of environment uh, disturbance, uh, because of uh, climate change and all, you cannot have even regular seasons. You do not know when the, the rain will come. A lot of landslides, a lot of uh, storms, uh, all these things happen. So we have, even while we are doing development, we have to think of the consequences of the development, whether it is sustainable, whether it, all these the thing we have done will spoil the future resources or the environment. I think these are the ones we have to 
consider, among many other things, in this year's uh, this, uh, youth, uh, International Youth Day. You may not be an environmentalist, but you can always uh, see what is good and what is bad, if you really want. Many people, because of uh, uh, they are greed, they will destroy the environment, but they never thought of their future generations. So I think, henceforth, whoever uh, is concerned with the environment, we can educate people and also raise our voice where the environment are going to be destroyed. I think uh, even here, particularly as university students, the highest uh, seat of learning, we should think of our responsibility in spreading awareness, whatever my uh, the earlier speakers have mentioned, and also all these issues, economic or social or environment. All these things, I think, we have to be ambassadors to spread these messages to those who do not know, and also to those who know, but because of greed, who do not consider of the sustainable of liberty of what they are doing. So let us today, on this day, pledge ourselves a phrase that will be the essence of change for good, essence of, uh, uh, for the sustainable development of the country of Mizoram and of uh, the future generation. So I don't think I'll take much of your time. So with these few words, I thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity uh, to say a few words before you and for inviting all the resource persons from whom we have learned so many things. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your kind, encouraging, and informative speech. We always learn many important things through your I mean, speech in this kind of gathering, and we are too grateful to you also, sir. Then I soon take more time. Then let Chan Pui uh, supervise uh, the price distribution. Then may I kindly request our Honorable Vice Chancellor to give away the prizes then after that, the uh, prizes should also be given I mean, to these I mean, uh, dignitary people sitting on the dice so, so that we can take a group photo on the dice itself. Then that would be followed by the um, word of thanks from Professor Dalrin Tuanga, a former head, Department of Public Administration. He is now a pro, uh, professor in the Department of Public Administration. May I invite Chan Pui? request on the Honorable Vice-Chancellor to kindly give away the prizes and the certificates. Uh, okay, we, uh, then we request our guest of honor, uh, Streaming Dailava Kyang Kedapal, Honorable Parliamentary Secretary, Sports and Youth Affairs. Uh, to kindly hand out the prizes for the essay writing competition. So, please. At the onset, I would just like to mention that uh, our uh, the prize winners are mostly from public administration because we didn't get much uh, participants from the other departments. So the first prize uh, for the essay writing competition goes to Ms. Lal Satwan Thangi, PhD scholar, Public Administration. The next person uh, who has a second, who got the second prize is Eric Silan Nunsama, third semester, Public Administration Department. Third prize, Jacob, Mr. Jacob V. L. Ompuya, PhD scholar, Public Administration Department.
Thank you so much, sir. May I now request the Honorable Vice Chancellor to kindly give out the prizes for the poster preparation competition. The first prize goes to Ms. H. C. Lel from Kimi, third semester public administration. I'll just be calling out the names so that we move at a faster pace. Second prize, Ms. Lal Chazwali, third semester public administration department. We have two contenders for the second prize. The other one is Saizi Kui Silo, third semester public administration department. We also have two, two, uh, two persons in the third position. One is Nalbe Abzuala, third semester of public administration department. And Baby Zorin Kui Mar, third semester public administration. So we would also like to request you to kindly give the certificate of participation. For the certificate of participation, Jennifer Lelry Nomi, third semester. Eric Sila Eric Nunsama, third semester. Please uh, come out as I call your names so that we can move faster. S. Mang Sian Munga, third semester. Lanun Sangi, Department of Mass Communication. Lan Shui Tuangi, Department of Mass Communication. Department of Public Administration to kindly give out the gifts to the those who have spared their time and efforts today uh, to make a success of the program today. Um, may I now call our Vice Chancellor, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Alal Kantrona. Bing Dialogue Camp, the Honorable Parliamentary Secretary, Sports and Youth Services. <laughs> Professor Zokai Tlami, Dean, School of Social Sciences. <laughs> Professor Srinivas Pati, Department of Public Administration. Professor C. Devendiran, Head Department of Social Work. And Dr. R. T. Mohanty, Head Department of Sociology. Thank you, Madam. I'm not a good speaker, that's why I'm not taking a long time, okay? <coughs> this evening, I feel pri privileged to report a word of thanks on behalf of the organizing committee. At the outset, I must express our heartfelt thanks to you, our Honorable Vice Chancellor, who is all the time playing a leading role almost as a father, in encouraging us to grow and to attain academic excellence. And, sir, your speech, I hope, 
good ally than our youths. And I hope our youths also would know how to go about after completing their post digestion. And our thanks also goes to our guest of honor, Kukim Daru Kinke, Honorable Parliamentary Secretary, Youth Affairs, and also Urban Development and Poverty Division for sharing us his own experiences. And from the light of what he, he has said, the state government has a long way in trying to eradicate poverty and to generate employment opportunities, even those who do not find out the opportunities available to them. From what he have said, we have learned that he have done so many things. And he has promised to the youths that he should build a new world for them. And he do not simply speak about that, but we have shared what he has done for the attainment of that goal. We are very thankful for coming to this university and to share your experience and views with us. So, most of the political executives are not interested or so, sometimes they are reluctant to come to the university where different kinds of students with academic galaxy are gathering. But today, in spite of your tussle and your uh, what problem with regards to health or flu and all that, I don't know. In spite of that, you have come here to provoke the thoughts of the youths who are gathering here. Thank you very much for that, sir. And I should also say thank you to my esteemed colleagues, Professor Sinibas Pati, for making the presentation of the team of this International Youth Day. And I should also express our heartfelt thanks to our two resource persons. I'm going to express our heartfelt thanks to them in wholesale, Professor Devendran and Dr. R.K. Mohanty. You are the right persons to give lectures on those uh, topics because I am one of the persons who know that you are having the right background to speak on youth. In the case of Devendran, he had a scientific study of youth and their roles and the like. Then Dr. Artem Honti is specialized in criminology and from the light of that, he has given his lectures with regards to youth and harmony. We are very fortunate to listen to your thought-provoking lectures. And today, I must say thank you in absentia to Professor Diazela and Joyti. Though he was, they were available patiently with us, but in, in spite of uh, their tussle has prevented them from remaining with us. Anyway, I express thank you to them. And today, I would also express our sincere thanks to our colleagues from the university for making themselves available, not only giving, they are not simply giving moral support, but they are physically available in this Osgas Hall for the success of the program. And I would also say thank you to Rajiv Gandhi, uh, Rajiv Gandhi Institute for sponsoring this type of important program for the advancements of the youths in Mizoram University. And the last but not the least, I should say, I, should, I must say thank you to the students from the Department of Public Administration, then from Sociology, and from Mass Communication, and from social work and commerce. This department, the organizing committee is putting in black and white your contributions for the success of this program. And today, you are very fortunate to hear or listen to all those lectures. And it is my sincere hope that you'll be able to translate those speeches into a reality. And today, you are not simple 
students, no. You are real students, why? You have not yet left the program till the, the end. This is a good sign, please keep it up. The last but not the least, I, on behalf of the organizing committee and my personal behalf, express our heartfelt thanks to any persons who are available here and those who are not available here, like our supporting staff, who have taken the place for the success of the, this program. We express our heartfelt thanks to all of you. Thank you.